far from a start. They line up at the 1800. And uh, away they go. I thought Lucy the Pink probably could have got a better start. That's already on the back foot early on, as is Plum Pudding, who's going to languish towards the second half of the field. Queen Bomi, on the other hand, is trying to beat a tricky draw, and there goes Queen Bomi with Eternal Optimus to keep each other honest. It's now Eternal Optimus who punches through with Sean Veal and goes off to lead them. With the Chipkin noseband and behind them, you're going to find Quirandi. And further back on the outside is Queen Bomi with Grand Fanikak. Further back is Catalea. Richard Ferry got this one relaxed, only three lengths off the leader. Basic Maneuvers is traveling with the blue sleeves and the blue cap. Summer Pudding behind that, or rather Plum Pudding, is behind that. Summer Night City is racing towards the outside of that one, only about six lengths off the leader. Lucy the Pink Dream Searches a long way in behind and destined to dance is going to have to get past them all. So in front is Eternal Optimist. Has gone about two lanes clear. Has got the cheek pieces on and got the orange sleeves with the orange cap. Nice and relaxed with Sean Veal out in front. Queen Bomi's done some work in second. Quirandi's racing away in third. Then comes Catalea in fourth. Basic maneuvers behind that. Then further back is Plum Pudding. Summer Night City. Lucy the Pink Dream Searcher and Destined to Dance. Going to have to get past them all. They went up towards the last 400 meters and still going what is Eternal Optimus? Sean Veal just about to ask for more. Goes about two lanes clear. Basic maneuvers down the center. Quick to build up. Summer Night City. Catalea's towards the inside with Quirandi. Eternal Optimus feels pressure. Summer Night City is starting up those engines. Running home hard with Plum Pudding down the inside. Plum Pudding, Summer Night City. Plum Pudding, Summer Night City. It's Plum Pudding in front and Plum Pudding goes a length and a half clear to win well. Plum Pudding beats Summer Night City, Catalea in third and Basic Maneuvers in fourth. Alright, so Plum Pudding. The team did give this one some confidence downstairs. Obviously coming out the Maidens. Nothing says they can't win again. If they come in with the right rating, there's no doubt they can be very competitive. And that's exactly what's happened to this daughter of Silvano. Plum Pudding beats Summer Night City. Catalea was in third. And Basic Maneuvers in fourth. I'm sure Andre Nell and Mrs. Platner, they'll be expecting quite a bit of this daughter of Silvano. She's done nothing wrong to date. I did mention, or briefly mention, Summer Pudding, hoping that she can get within 90% of that ability, and there's no doubt she'll go through the divisions. Plum Pudding. She's won well enough. Corneille off attracted into the race nicely, and I don't think she got the best of starts either. So this is a win full of merit to beat Summer Night City. Further back in behind them was Catalea, was trying to stay on at the business end. All right, so that's race seven. The Cape Turf Club Cape Sea Stakes belongs to Andre Nell. Well done to Mrs. Platner. This one bred by Le Plain Stand Stud Farm. We've got the eighth race coming up at quarter past four. I'll get those numbers through to you shortly.